Right, so just got to start this file. So marking it out, I always put a scratch on the headlands. Maybe won't on the other side because this field's about parallel. So what I do is turn the plow over slightly, just a little bit. Lower it down, just so it's making a scratch. And obviously I don't bother with my GPS to mark this out. So what I do is I use my first tram line and I actually run with that side light and indicator stock on that tram line and that's that's basically it really just as simple as that now just just drive and keep that I'll just go a little bit wider around it here because there's a corner and then back in line with it again <coughs> my back for a work in there just leaving a little scratch I'll do one all the way around actually technical about this, there's no fancy gadgets it's just old, old school this Starting this side this year. I started it the other side last year. But I've got a furrow down this side of this putter. So I don't want my front furrow too deep here. Just need it to turn it up over. Literally just to land where the furrow is and level with the grass. You don't want to go too fast either on this bit because it'll just chuck it, chuck it all over and make a mess. getting down to my corner now just lift up and just give myself enough room to back round without driving on that plowing I just 
reversal and put the flow mole boards parallel with the line of the field. Then pull a run, pull it down there just to the edge of that first pass. Now back up and do it again. Might be a bit stony in there. Uh, do a couple of passes like that. And then I'll carry on. I'll go back up the field and back down again. And do the same again. You see there, I haven't driven on any ploughing there. There's no necessary paddling at all in that corner there. So we'll make our way back up and down again. this end I won't need to do that because I've got a, a bit of a rough grassy area I can just I can just drive straight through and drive straight onto it and not have to do that End. I don't need to do that. I don't need to be pulling the corner out. All I can, all I have to do is just, just drive straight out onto this grass. If you have space like that, make the most of it and just make your life make your life a hell of a lot easier. far enough to line up with this furrow there. Somewhere about there. Now I've still got room to reverse round and not touch the plough in at all. Then do the same as last time, pull another couple of runs out. Just fair enough, just line up with that previous run down the field. Then I pull another one out. There we go, back up and back down again. Do the same again when they get back down there. For, uh, into that for all back there. <coughs> you 
you see, there's no wheelings, there's no paddling at all on that little bit there now. There we'll, we'll go back up, back down. Right, so getting back to this corner again now, just approaching it. Just do exactly the same as before. So they're just in line with that foot roll again up the field. Pull another little one out there. So that's the corner all ploughed out. Oh, it's as simple as that. So, right, I'm going to start ploughing the headlands now, and I'm gathering them, and I mean by gathering them, I'm going to turn it in from the hedge, or ploughing it in, however you want to phrase it, but I've always called it gathering. So, I'm going to start on my ins and outs and then I'm going to work my way to the outside of the field. Well, I just thought, right, just show you how I do it. So, to start with, you'll see I've got my plough the wrong way around. And I know someone's going to say, oh, you shouldn't plough it twice, don't turn soil twice, but end of the day, on your ins and outs where you've dropped in and lifted out, you're going to turn it twice anyway, that little bit. So I'm actually just going to turn over. Just, it, it'll just literally be running lightly at the front. It won't be running at full depth. And it, doing it like this, it levels, it levels your ins and outs up. So when I come back again, the tractor and plough are bouncing in and out of them and it will be level with the rest of the field. So we'll get on with that. 
just drive along here and if I've got it right I should have seven runs I think it's seven or maybe eight runs to the hedge back I think it's seven so we'll um so my back footer is just running just slightly on what I've ploughed ploughed before Uh, you see, my front furrow is running fairly shallow. All it's doing is knocking over what the plough's turned over onto unploughed soil. And doing this, you'll be surprised, there is very, very little stubble showing when I've finished. So my back furrow is just running what's on or it's already ploughed and when to get to this corner here I will go down that headland there and do exactly the same So I'll just lift up there Back up here And I'll do exactly the same down this one And what you'll find is, because I've got I've chucked it as I'm looking at it to the left you have a furrow left all the way down there every time you've dropped in and what will happen now with a plough running this way it will turn soil back into the furrow and level it up so then I don't have any troughs on the ins and outs which you can often get if I just went down it now you'd have a trough where the furrow was left every time So it's same again, literally just turning the soil, it's filling the furrow back in, if you see that there, it's levelled it up, just lightly knocking it back in again, and you get rid of all them little troughs when you come back next time. the front for an hour there look just uh, just fills it in the front one and second one are just filling it back in again just running nice and lightly just scratching it back in there See, looking back there now, they're all filled in. So, it's, when I turn it back the other way, all that stubble, nearly all that stubble will be gone. Right, so I've done that first run now, ploughed it the wrong way. And now I'm going to turn it back in again, the proper way. Now this little bit of headland here, I've got a little stretch here, ploughed round the corner to there. I won't plough this until I finish the other three sides. Then I can just back up, all I'll do is reverse up and pull down and pull out onto the grass and I ain't turning round on any ploughing then. So, for this run, just plough wants to be back in normal depth, driving the furrow a normal ploughing depth you see there now I know there's a wheelie left from the plough 
and a little bit where the tractor wheel's gone. But that furrow hole is filling in level. And the ins and outs are literally perfectly level now. And the magic of it is, as you can tell, there is very, very little stubble showing now. It's literally buried a lot. It's a bit clay down this end of the field, so it's not necessarily running through nicely. keeps flowing out it keeps going until the back for her gets to where the last run came down over then you move around the corner like so we'll have a nice level corner when we finish hopefully fingers crossed as it doesn't go all tits up now. So just drop the front for in there. Then you've got a nice level square corner there now. I mean, this run up here looks better than the bottom one because it's a lot lighter land. And you see there, the amount of stubble that is showing now on the ins and outs is next to nothing. And it is now ploughing. It is nearly level with the middle of the field now. Apart from that wheeling off the plough. If you look back, all the ins and outs are levelled up now. All them troughs are building level. You can just see where they were, but they are 99% levelled up now with the rest of the field. with the two runs, the ins and outs, how level that is compared to what, what's ploughing now. I mean, to me, if you were a drill man coming straight onto that now, you'd be fair captain with that. You've got less work to level that up now, and there's no troughs left. Just ploughing normal depth now, normal conditions. And to me, there's not a lot wrong with that. your corners off like this round and round and if you get it right 
shouldn't have any wheel marks left, any paddling on the corners. This is the beauty of gathering your headlands. Right, so this corner here now, because now I've run out of room, stubble there, to drive on when I come back, there isn't enough length for the tractor and plough to get on and plough past what I've ploughed. So, I'll just pull a run on here a little bit. And lift out. I need to back up. Drop in where my furrow ends there. just need to pull enough so when I come back next time I've got enough room to get pulled out and it's all ploughed then. here when I turn round and I go back again. So just pulling on now to that little bit I pulled out. Then just makes that. I don't need to do the same this way because I've got enough room to pull out onto the bridle way behind us there. So I don't need to worry about, about it this way. This corner is easy because I haven't got a hedge in this corner. You can just keep driving through. You've got a gap make the most of it. Just make it as easy as possible for yourself. Don't try to overcomplicate it. Just wants to be as easy as possible for yourself. The corners like that are really, really easy to do. And you can see now, as I'm ploughing the corner, it's working its way into the corner of the stubble. In the, right into the corner. It just naturally goes that way. Right, so nearly finished this headland now. I've got one pass left, just round the hedge back. And it looks like it's worked out pretty well for one run. And as most ploughmen know, this probably could be the most problematic part of the field. It's guaranteed there'll be some grass somewhere that'll block it up. It looks, does look about right. So it doesn't look too bad and um, there's been no GPS involved in marking this out so it's not a bad so it doesn't look like it's worked out too badly at all. There's 
going to say this run can usually be very problematic. I've always found the old, these old cavernalins don't like a lot of rubbish going through them, they soon block up. It takes very, very little for them to block up the trash. So yeah, I don't use, I've got GPS up here, but I've never used it to mark a field out. I just do it the old fashioned way, it's what I'm used to. And it's worked out a nice little run down the edge back, full run. secret with these is if you see it start to block up you want to stop and lift it up before it gets itself wedged in there you? you're getting out with your spade and unblocking it and that's about what you call perfect See that, like the corner, you can see where it just comes, just works its way all the way into the corner here. There's no wheel marks left, there's no paddling there, which ideally is what you want, in, what you want if you can. Not always possible, especially when you're throwing them out. You always get a bit of paddling on them. when I'm gathering them. Hopefully somebody out there will find it interesting, find it of use. If you want to ask me anything feel free just to comment and ask me something. I'll do my best to do my best to answer you if I can. an expert so just thought that might be a bit useful for some folk yeah, it worked out spot on to be fair Clay there, it's never ploughed so well there. Yeah, real heavy land on this end. So it's front for it's just pulling a bit wider now and just not quite as tidy. But... I've um, just finished on that little bit of short headland I said where I'll just back up and pull it down. So you see there's absolutely no wheelings left anywhere and there's no paddling. I was just able to pull out onto this grass area. So yeah, that's how I um, finished the headlands. And it don't look a bad finish up there either, in the middle of the field. Don't know if you can see or not. <laughs> 